Hello from Guadalajara, Mexico. Today I'm going to attempt to recreate my old life in Mexico. Now, what exactly do I mean by that and why do I want to create any version of my old life? Well, if you're new here, my name is Maddie. I've been living and traveling all across Mexico since 2018. The last time I was in Guadalajara was that year with my then boyfriend. We were making daily vlogs, so we did a lot in this city. After that, we continued our travels and ended up in Querétaro. It was there that unfortunately we broke up and later I decided to come back here and start over. Give Guadalajara a try again. So it's been four months since I've been here and I kind of want to see, was my life back then better? So I'm going to try to recreate some of those experiences, go to some old places and all the while tell you the difference in prices between then and now. So you can really see what inflation has done over the past four years. I had to start my day out at this restaurant called Los Chilaquiles because it is this very restaurant where I tried Café de Goya for the first time. This is coffee that's prepared with piloncillo, which is kind of like a condensed molasses-y rich sugar and cinnamon. Mm, it's so good. But the first time I tried this, I took a sip because I thought Café de Goya translates to pot of coffee. I thought it was just regular coffee and uh, I thought it was rancid because I wasn't expecting the flavors but now I love it and here it is truly delicious. One difference from four years ago to now is that this same cup of Café de Olla used to cost 27 pesos and now it costs 35 pesos. So this restaurant, Los Chilaquiles, is authentic Jalisciense, Jalisco food and of course the name is Los Chilaquiles so what did I have to get? Chilaquiles. <laughs> And in case you're sitting here like, what the heck are chilaquiles? Well, it is commonly a breakfast food in Mexico, and for that reason, I like to think of them as breakfast nachos. If you disagree, I will see you in the comments and be like, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but basically, it's fried corn chips bathed in salsa and typically accompanied by chicken or egg, and then it's topped with crema and queso. A difference here at this restaurant from others that serve chilaquiles, like the, pretty much the rest of Mexico, is that they give you on the table here the crema, queso, and salsa that you can dress it up with. So you can put as much as your little heart desires, which my heart desires a lot. <laughs> I decided to get their classic colorados enchiladas, enchiladas. <laughs> Maybe I need more of this cafe de olla. Their classic Colorado uh, chilaquiles, not enchiladas, <laughs> and add chicken. In 2019, these cost 119 pesos, and they're 159 now. So yes, the prices have definitely gone up. Let's give these puppies a try. I am hungry. Mm. Mm. That is a really rich, nicely salted red sauce. And very tender chicken. Man, I really love everything I put in my mouth at this restaurant. <laughs> in my last video where I was comparing cheap and gourmet tacos, I got a lot of comments of people going, oh my gosh, you just put those salsas on there. How do you know if they're spicy or not? I'm really sensitive to spicy. The very Mexican way that you can test it is by taking a little tiny bit and putting it on the back of your hand like this. That's not exactly a little tiny bit, but. That's like a chipotle salsa. That's really good. Oh, oh man, but these already have enough salsa on them. Dang it. Anyway, that's how you find out though. <laughs> Next, I decided to take a four minute Uber to Plaza Andares. Uh, I believe it was 37 pesos, and I'm pretty sure that's the cheapest you can get for any trip on Uber right now here in this city. And in 2018, I believe that was 19 pesos. But in any case, I'm back here at Plaza Andares because this was the first luxury mall that I ever went to in Mexico, and I could not believe that luxury like this existed. Now I think that concept is so silly <laughs> because there's so much wealth in Mexico and so much luxury, high-end, nice homes, nice malls. This is not anything unusual in Mexico, as it turns out. There is no doubt about it. This is a very high-end mall, but if you had any misconceptions about exactly how nice Mexico is or whether it's just a poor country with poor people in mud huts, I hope this changes your mind. <laughs> so it's here that you can find a lot of name brands that you're familiar with in the U.S. However, unfortunately, almost all of them, if not all, all of them have a markup because of import taxes. While I'm here, I think I'm actually
actually going to do some shopping, but I'm pretty sure most stores have a policy against recording inside the store. In fact, I was a little bit worried that a security guard was chasing me while I'm recording outside of them, so I'm gonna put the camera away for now. pants even though they're so ridiculously 90s. I love them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I have it. I have this giant pocket that I can fit my entire life in and I think they're actually pretty cute. I mean, they're like the definitely the baggiest thing I own in terms of bottoms, but I like them. I don't know. If you're liking this video so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I post a new video every single week. Next, I took a 12 minute Uber, which was about 60 pesos to one of my favorite spots in the city, Bosque Los Colomos, which for some silly reason I haven't been to since I moved back to Guadalajara four months ago. Bosque Los Colomos is described as an urban park. It's 227 acres, so you can come in here and feel like you're in a total sanctuary, like you're not even in the city, and I really truly can feel my social battery, my social batteries, yeah, social batteries, but well, my energy uh, is just being retar recharged. My batteries are being recharged because whenever I'm in nature, <sighs> I just feel so much better. I also feel so much better about what I'm about to do. <laughs> I don't know if this is the center of the park or not, but guess what? Guess where I'm going? Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. Oh, Central the Central! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've never seen that type of bird before. He's cool. Oh, and there's, there's fish in the ponds and there's bridges to walk over. I forgot how much I like Bosque Los Colomos. Oh, crikey. It's an Arvilla. <laughs> wow, you're very socialized. How close can I get? This bus? Whoa. Oh, there's a whole family. Oh, it's because these are your babies, huh? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute and tiny. So there's definitely lots of wildlife here. I saw a giant lizard of a type, I'm not sure. There's a whole family of red eared sliders over there on that rock. There's actually a lot of those. And I used to have that turtle, that type of turtle when I was a kid, two of them. One was named Piglet, so you can probably guess why he ate everything. And the other's name was Frisky because he was afraid of everything. <laughs> One of my favorite lines from the video where we came to Bosque Los Colomos in 2018 was, <laughs> I saw a squirrel and I'm like, we oh, yeah. are. In the wild, I see a creature. I'm gonna try to get it close to it. I think it's a squirrel. Don't forget to squirrel scry. All right, we've got it. I'm going to pretend that I have a peanut. I don't know what accent this is. I've been caught. Run! In preparation for making this video, I was looking back at a bunch that uh, we had made in 2018 and there were so many funny lines like that where I was just being goofy and silly and weird. I don't know what happened along the way. I don't think I'm as much like that anymore, so I'm gonna make my motto what Portland and Austin sort of have going. Make Maddie weird or keep Maddie weird. Make Maddie weird again. No, actually that's a combination of Make America great again and keep Portland weird. <laughs> okay, but I like the fusion. We're gonna go with that. So I'm passing by Bird's Lake now, or Lago de Aves, and I was just about to comment that I don't think this park has changed one bit, but I do see over yonder is what looks like a restaurant or a cafe, so that's new. But other than that, I feel like they've done a really good job of maintaining this park over the past four years because 
I feel like it's still very lush and pretty and green and of course it helps that we're in the rainy season now so I'm sure that's brightened things up a little bit but oh man I should spend more time here it's delightful I also just saw some people having a little picnic over there and that might just be my new favorite first date idea hey there fluffy tail wow you've got the biggest curliest poofiest tail of all the squirrels come with the MS. oh are you that friendly like, yes but no yes but no okay bye <laughs> oh it is so nice and peaceful back here all you can hear are the sounds of the birds and the nature you would never know you were in a giant polluted city okay you can also hear some people talking but mostly nature So according to the sign, a couple things you cannot do, smoke, throw trash on the ground, play soccer, touch the water, swim in the water, play patty cake with the squirrels, uh, but you can think about how much you love nature. I love that. So I was like, okay, now that I've recorded around the park a little bit, I'm just gonna sit on a bench and enjoy the peace and quiet and do some meditation. Well, less than a minute goes by and I'm a mosquito magnet, so, they were coming through the forest, they were coming to suck my blood. <laughs> so, word to the wise, bring bug spray or wear pants. I should probably actually have just put on the pants that I got at H&M. I'm probably gonna head out at this point since I'm unprotected, but other things that you might wanna know if you want to come to Bosque Los Colomos, you can rent horses here, you can do horse riding. I didn't make it to that portion of the park. I believe also you can camp on another side of the forest. I think that would be a different entrance, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, there's a bunch of exercise equipment and this place is perfect for runners because, I mean, they just have paths, like paved paths going all throughout the entire forest. So all in all, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I was already in a good mood when I came here, like I've been having a really nice day, but if it's even possible, it boosted me to the very next level. So I'm just like, Floating on cloud nine. <laughs> I love nature. I forgot to mention this, but it is also free to get in and all the hundreds and hundreds of squirrels also completely free. So if you're a squirrel lover like me, you're going to be in heaven. I swear squirrels are one of my spirit guides. Spirit guides? Spirit, spirit animals. Squirrels are one of my spirit animals. Because <laughs> they're curious and funny and quirky and energetic and they'll come up to you if you feed them. Yeah. <laughs> And next I took what I think was about a 15 to 18 minute Uber ride, which ended up being 79 pesos to good old Centro Magno. <laughs> and this is the very place, the very first upscale Mexican movie theater that I ever went to. And the joke is it said that on Google Maps. So we made a video that ended up going pretty viral. It was, I think, one of our very first videos to go viral because we said it was an upscale Mexican movie theater. This one, Cinepolis, right behind me. And everybody was like, um, guys, that's, that's just a, a regular Mexican movie theater. But I haven't been to the movies. I don't think in all of 2022, so I'm kind of excited. Hola, buenas tardes. Uh, ¿Cuál es el próximo para Lightyear? ¿Se llama Lightyear? Sí. Sí, por favor. ¿Y puedo escoger el asiento? Sí. Sí. Todas las salas están disponibles. Okay. Uh, ¿Qué me recomienda la atrás? Sí, más o menos en estas filas. Well, I'm a kid at heart, so I had to get a ticket to the Buzz Lightyear movie, and the tickets used to be 78 for general admission, and they're 90 pesos now. So let's see what's going on with the concessions, because I definitely want popcorn. So I did end up getting popcorn, and it was more expensive, but I'm going to have to tell you the price afterwards, because I'm in the theater now, and the previews have already started. The great thing is, I can pretty much yell as loud as I want, because there's nobody else in here. I didn't realize for the price of one ticket, 90 pesos, I could have an entire private theater. This is great! <laughs> well, I thought that was a really cute movie, but then again, I am very partial to Disney Pixar movies. I don't think I've met a single one of them I didn't like. Um, even in Spanish, I thought it was really funny, and I'm at the point where I think I understood about 90 to 95% of it. Oh, and as promised, the popcorn, 
A large popcorn, whoa, oh my gosh, that was close. A large popcorn in 2018 was 54 pesos and it is 74 pesos now, so 24, oh my gosh, <laughs> so 20 pesos more. Oh, and I gotta say, four years later, I still love that upscale Mexican movie theater. <laughs> so in the end, what do I think? Was my old life better than my current life here in Mexico, specifically Guadalajara? You know, I don't think either of them is better and worse. I think my life in 2018 was vastly different than it is now, and I like my life now as well. If you wanna see more of it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. On the screen here is a video of a little piece of my life in Guadalajara if you wanna see more, and one more thing. <laughs> Gong that bell if you want to be notified the next time I release a new video and I hope to see you there.